news everywhere. I'm very excited today because it's an opportunity to bring dogs into uh, public transit. Um, it's an opportunity for people that have um, no dedicated vehicle uh, to be able to uh, do little simple things like bring their dog to the vet, um, go to a park that's further out in the city. Walking the streets of Montreal is great, but taking public transit is even better. Meet Dexter, an eight-year-old Guatemalan doggo mix ready to ride the metro for the first time ever. The pilot project allowing leashed and muzzled dogs on public transit will last for nine months. And if they're good boys and girls, it might be a forever thing. Well, I think it'll give the opportunity for uh, animals and uh, pet owners to um, uh, do more activities outside of their immediate core. Um, specifically, again, I'm thinking of people with limited mobility options. Uh, I'm thinking of city dwellers in particular, uh, people that rely on public transport for their day to day. I'm just uh, a little bit worried as a responsible dog owner for reactivity. Um, I'm going to be watching out for my dog's reaction and other dogs' reactions around my dog. So it's going to be a learning curve for everybody involved, I think. Dogs will only be allowed on the metro between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Monday to Friday and after 7 p.m. to not impact rush hour. No time restrictions on weekends or holidays. Dogs will be required to wear a muzzle at all times and to stay on a leash that has a maximum distance of 1.25 meters. Owners will have to clean up any mess made by their pet. No dogs will be allowed on any of the transit seats, benches and escalators, but are allowed on elevators only if there's enough room and owners will be limited to one dog per metro ride. Dogs must use the back or middle train cars and avoid using the frontmost car, frequently used by school groups, daycares, wheelchair users and cyclists. Any bylaw violations can result in a fine of $75 up to $500. Not every dog will adapt. Some dogs will drag their head. Some dogs will be overly stimulated because they have the muzzle and they're surrounded by people in the metro. What you need to do is really uh, make sure your dog associates wearing the muzzle with positive experiences. So for example, giving treats to the dog while he or she's wearing the muzzle. Uh, it's really important to use a basket muzzle that allows for the mouth to be open and allows the dog to breathe properly and to be able to take treats. Um, and then you really want to start with very short periods at a time. For more information and tips, visit the STM and the SPCA's websites. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.